Well, hello there. Uh, my name is Sam. You probably know me by now. Um, I came to Traditional Dream Factory three years ago. We signed the papers for the factory on Christmas Day 2020. And so this is marking our third year anniversary of trying to build this into one of our homes. Um, it's been a challenging year. There has been a lot of changes and with this, um, over the last couple of months, as you might have noticed, uh, a lot of the team have been leaving the project. Bia, who stepped in as our interim CEO uh, back in May, is now stepping down from her executive position. She is still going to be supporting the project, but more in a supportive role. Um, and so will Annie and Charlie, uh, who decided to step down, and Dylan and Rita and Daniel and Juliana. Um, we thank you all for all the amazing work that you've done. Without you, TDF wouldn't exist. Um, and with that, we're coming in with a fresh new team on the ground. Uh, we're trying to keep everyone basically in the realm of TDF. So uh, the whole team is now on the ground for the fall. And we're primarily focused on rolling out a better uh, communication strategy for how we can activate this broad community of members that we have been building over the last couple of years. And um, yeah, it's been a challenging time. And um, I stepped out of the TDF project back in May because simply I was uh, pretty burnt out. Um, and it was a time for me, it felt at the time, to create space for this exit to community. So to give more space for people to step up in leadership positions. Unfortunately, the exit to community uh, did not go as planned. In order for us to have a successful exit to community, it would have meant that people would have had to buy the token. And we spent the last two years doing a lot of the legal work, technological work, and so on for this to become a reality. But it's a brand new model that we're bringing to the world. It's a new model for home ownership that includes technological access to these spaces. And so it was quite an ambitious dream. And unfortunately, it didn't manifest at this point. The market conditions are just too rough to be launching a token and to be able to successfully raise the amount of capital required to do a capital um, real estate development. And so with this, uh, we are reshifting the focus a little bit with the aim to, first of all, operationalize the TDF business. Uh, we do not currently have enough operational money coming in to fund the operations on the ground. So that's the first thing that we want to tackle. Um, and we want to be doing this by bringing in some monthly recurring revenue in the forms of subscriptions and optimizing how we're doing operations on the ground. So in a little bit, we'll walk you through some of the updates of what we've been up to on the ground, including building new volunteering accommodations. Uh, and we are going to be spending the next week on uh, improving our glamping accommodations for paying customers. Uh, but we also had some beautiful updates on the land with a sauna and an outdoor cinema that's been built. Um, but really, in order for us to bring TDF to the next level, it is going to take some capital investment. And so in parallel of um, doing this uh, operationalizing of TDF and uh, looking for ways to keep TDF open, um, we're going to be looking at more traditional ways of funding. And so I'm preparing the business plan and the pitch deck for the broader project, which includes the co-housing development, the farm development, and so on and so on. With that, I'm going to be spending the next three months um, besides operationalizing TDF and getting us to a point where we can actually fund our operations um, to also work on a more traditional real estate development plan to try to bring in more traditional investors into the mix and to being able to fund the real estate development required for us to develop the future co-housing, to develop the co-living space that we have the full engineering plans approved for now. We just received the engineering plans um, last uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and that is after having had the architectural plans approved about a year ago. And so we are fully ready to start executing on this master plan. And with that, I would love to introduce you to Ismail, who is going to be our head of communication for TDF and with who we're going to be uh, executing this communication strategy. So thank you so much, Ismail, for joining the team. Yeah, thank you, Sam. And first of all, maybe I'm introducing myself a little bit. My name is Ismail 
and I've been now around for roughly two weeks at TDF. And for those who don't know me, I've spent a good two months at the beginning of 2023 here at TDF, fell in love with the place and decided to come back and dedicate my time and my resources in order to grow and keep the project running. And I'm very excited to be on site and I'm very excited to be part of the team. And it is in fact nice to sit here in the treehouse as some of you have been around may have figured. And yeah, I've been around now for 10 days and it is indeed a time of transition. And it's already very good to be on the land and to be with the people. I think we have amazing people around. And we also have amazing people like you watching this very video. And this is something that is really dear to us. So for the rest of the year, we're gonna have weekly update videos for all of you guys who are not present at TDF or who are potentially even present at TDF to give an overview of what is happening and how do we make progress and how do we move forward. And with that, we have a lot of traction here at TDF. So if you just look at the numbers, we do have 773 people who are registered users, people who associate with TTF, people who have taken the effort to sign up to TDF, to the website, and who potentially can support TDF. And at the same time, out of those 773 users, we have 31 subscribers who are actually contributing financial means to TDF. And as we were mentioning earlier, it's a big project, some capital is needed and also some operational costs are needed. So we need to somehow use you and everybody who's watching to transition the interested users and people into somewhat committed members. And one benefit of you being a supporter, a committed doer at TDF, is that we are currently creating an e-learning platform where you're gonna get access to a lot of information around permaculture, around Web3, about architecture. And this is something where we're gonna keep you posted as well, but we are very excited to already announce that a lot of progress is being made and we have already recorded quite a few sessions with experts from very different domains. And as we have a new team, we also have some exciting updates from the land. So we have some stories from the sauna, we have some stories from the kitchen and we have some stories also from the garden. And with that, enjoy. Hello, I'm Elizabeth. I came here three weeks ago and now I'm taking care of the kitchen and uh, food in traditional green factory. I like a lot, a lot to cook here because we can take products from garden and uh, we can process it and cook. And always we have a lot of people who are ready to eat. So food is my passion and uh, we invite you to join us and just try. Hello, my name is Joshua and I am the land manager here at TDF. In the past couple of weeks, I've been tending the gardens and producing a good flow of produce and vegetables for us to eat as a community. Uh, I've been bringing in the group and weeding together in the garden as well. I've been recording and documenting the trees that we are planting and have planted here in the reforestation area and documenting their growth and the water intake that they're getting. And going forward in the next few months, this autumn season, I'm uh, preparing for big planting actions that are happening. We have a few big groups coming through here to support in planting a lot of uh, the trees that we will be collecting from the local nurseries around us and um, growing ourselves into saplings. So we're gonna be continuing to create forest here, continuing to grow food in our garden, and continuing to work with our water systems and our gray water systems to give water to all of that. Hello, I'm Cedric. I'm the steward for the season, uh, the new season. Uh, I will be in charge of uh, everything related to sloppy, sleeping and accommodation. So if you'd like to volunteer to help us make people dream, you're welcome. We built an outdoor cinema made out of this beautiful handmade material from um, clay, sand and hay. 
and uh, yeah, Ivan, uh, our great uh, artist, built this uh, beautiful installation um, where we've been watching movies and we had the first uh, movie night a couple of nights ago. So as you can see here, this is probably how you have never seen the TDF workshop before. We have done an extensive cleanup, reorganization and inventory. And this is how it looks for now. Okay, hello, welcome to TDF's new uh, volunteer and guest room. Uh, we already fixed the corners and painted all the room to make it bright and uh, make it feel bigger uh, for the people we are going to have here. The bunk beds we built up here and uh, yeah. And the second room. So and uh, for the bathroom, we already uh, fixed and uh, all the holes and the corners, and uh, we made a little bit of cleaning here. Um, so a lot has to be done in the uh, next few days, but this is a. Uh, already a huge step and we already uh, took off all the unnecessary things here okay, awesome <laughs> so thank you so much ismail and thank you for being part of this team i'm uh, quite excited for this uh, new round of tdf where we're really going to try to be more focused on operationalizing the business really bringing in the required capital investment required to be developing this land and really one of the core ideas is that we're gonna be looking for 300 dreamers who are ready to make TDF one of their homes. Um, it's not something that we can take lightly. It does take a lot of effort and a lot of commitment and a lot of financial resources to develop pro a project like TDF. And there's just a minimum amount of thresholds that we need to reach if we want to see the full flourishing project with the water, the lakes, the, the farm, the co-living and the co-housing project that we want to develop and we're going to be sharing more on this in the future and to start with we're going to be looking for 300 dreamers who are willing to simply pay us 10 euros per month as a basic subscription which gives you access to these weekly updates which gives you access to our discord channel which gives you access to come and spend time at tdf in the form of being able to book for the co-living space and we're going to be building out this educational platform so that you can get access to more educational resources around how to build these type of spaces and how we're doing it here. And so part of our strategy for the next few months is gonna to be to roll out more public campaigns, more communication, more PR. Uh, so if you are in touch with any journalist or you have other ways that you can spread the message, please reach out to me personally. And um, yeah, we're gonna be working on this campaign and on bringing TDF to life and on figuring out how we can make this one of our homes and thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next week